Hi, in this session you will learn about different types of strings in C sharp. So C sharp supports two types of strings here, immutable and mutable string. So mutable string are the object of system dot string class, and mutable string are the object of system dot text main string builder class. So immutable string you cannot modify, but mutable string you can modify. So let's understand what are the immutable strings. So immutable string are the instance of system dot string class, and you cannot change, update the content of a string. It is unmodified. We have mutable string. So mutable string are the instances of system dot text dot string builder class. So there is a string builder class. So this is instance of string builder class. And unlike immutable string, you can modify, you can change the contents. Of immutable string. Unmutable strings are useful when you need to perform a lot of text manipulation on the string. So sometimes there is a requirement to perform a lot of text manipulation. Let's say you are developing a template for sending the email. So if that code you are writing within your C sharp, so with that for mutable string you should create that email template concatenation text. Now let's understand the differences between these two strings. With the help of example, so here I have a console application named as types of strings. So here I'm just creating a first of all immutable string using the string class. So this is a str. Let's say here I'm putting the string as hello. And let's say I want to change in this string. So so there is a method replace. So using the replace method, I'm trying to do change. In this string, so I want to replace the I want to replace the word. So I want to replace the string word from dot matrix. So just replace the word string with dot matrix. So you are expecting like the word string should be replaced by the dot matrix. Now let's try to find out whether it is replaced or not. So just console it using the console write. And to prevent the closing of console window, just use here console dot it. But here it is not going to replace because it is a immutable string. So it is not going to replace means there is no change in the original string. So original string will remain hello word. If you are trying to modify it, let's verify the result. You can see we are getting here hello word. But we have done the operation here replace. But it is immutable. It's unchanged. But if the same set of operation you are trying to do with the string builder, so let's see whether it is working or not. So this time I'm using here a string builder, a string builder. So str builder. You can give any name here. Any case of string builder, we have to use here new and a string builder, and then assign the. Now here in the string builder, I want to replace the string word. With dot matrix. So now let's verify whether we are getting the new string or not. So let's define a message here like immutable string, immutable, and then plus. And here I'm using the immutable string. So here the word word string will be replaced with the dot matrix. So it is a mutable string. So you will get the updated value as hello dot matrix. Let's verify the result. So I didn't mention the slash n so that we get in the new line. So that is more clear. So you can see here in first case I'm getting here immutable string hello word as it is, but in the mutable string case I'm getting the hello dot matrix. It means we have successfully replaced the word string from the existing one. So this is the example of mutable string. So this is mutable string, not the immutable. So perfectly it is working fine. But if the same thing you have to do with the immutable string, what do you have to do? Either you have to assign this result. Within a new string, or reassign it with the new string here. So we are going to reassign this result. So we assign the value here. But here we are not reassigning the value. It is going to do the replace operation on the existing string. But here we are reassigning, or you can assign this value to a new string variable. Let's see. Now you will get the hello dot matrix in both the cases because now we have changed the value of the existing string str with the new string now in both the cases we are getting here 
hollow tooth matrix so this is a way to understand the differences between immutable string and mutable string